are, guys, the final episode. That's right, it is time to go make the Ganon's Tower climb. We need to call upon our friendly duck. And make our climb. So, we need to head up towards where Turtle Rock is. Let's grab a hook shot here. Ah, uh, we're getting bouldered. Even on red mail, those boulders hurt. Ooh, just barely missing every time. Would have been nice how we found gold sword and uh, silvers, but you know, if we get into a situation where I can't do silverless cannon, uh, which I've done it before, so I can't imagine why it would be bad now. Uh, then hopefully, uh, we, you know, we won't have to do that, but if we do, we can always ask him where he hit his silver arrows. That is always nice of randomizer, telling you exactly where they are. But we've got a climb. So this episode's gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, I could separate this between the Ganon's Tower climb and a Gina fight, and then have one more episode be the actual Ganon fight. But I figure, you know what? We'll make it one shorter, uh, one episode shorter, and make sure uh, it's action packed. So a little bit longer too. Alrighty. So we are off to the races. Again, 22 possible places that this key could be. And we're gonna check number one and two right now. Here we go, number one. Hey look, silvers, nice. Number two. All right. With that, that does mean we can go further right. Sadly, Hope Room was a bust. Two lamps. I have had several points where I've gotten stuck in there uh, and had to relight things, so we are not we're not dealing with that. Alright. Three. Four. Five. On the torch here is going to be seven. It is a map. Sorry if you were hoping for the torch. That is always guaranteed to be a key, so that is not a check. Here comes number eight. No. Nine. No. Ten? No. Eleven. Still a big no. Oh. Incoming twelve. Just a piece of heart. Another block here. Go get this key. We use that peg to basically make us invulnerable. Ooh, I did not do that right in the slightest. Uh, you can run on the backs of the snake tails. The head of the snake tail is the only thing that does damage. 
Uh, what was that, 13? Coming up on Rando Room, because you never see this room outside of Rando. And I'm sorry if I've messed up the count somewhere, guys. Lots going on in my brain when you're doing this. Alright. That... Hey, there it is. Uh, so we were at 12, 13, 14? Is that right? I think we had 14 there. So if you had guessed the right number and my numbers weren't off, then congratulations. You have bragging rights for our first seed. Alright, if we grab this and grab it again, we can manipulate where these guys stand. And thanks to Silver Arrows, make short work of them. Oh. These guys have, like, their head hitbox always bothers me. Because I always think that I've hit them, and then I don't, and it... It gets really weird, real awkward. You stand there thinking you shot him and you didn't. Thankfully we do know Stun Prize is a fairy, so if we start getting low on health, we can just go stun something to death. Serve some arrows, so we're gonna be careful on that. Dang. Just barely off on a couple of those. Spikes. Spikes plus butt lasers equals ouch. No more of this. Alright, we can even grab this as a fairy as well. We can use silver arrows here if we can actually line them up. There we go. Good fight there. Uh, some useful items under these. I generally grab the left two and the top right one. Uh, in here, we like to use Red Cane. Um, kill all the wizards in one go. And careful not to fall. Don't fall like Flash. Uh, there's a good Cane strat in here as well, but obviously... I'm not doing very well at it. Fire Rod is needed for the next room. Dang. Okay, well. As always, be careful with your Fire Rodding. Alright, one thing we're gonna make sure here is not to get Jingle Glitch. Um, something we learned on stream last week that uh, if we go up the stairs at the same time that Jingle goes off, uh, 
you can just despawn all the enemies in the rest of the cannon's tower. So we're gonna not do that. We're gonna be careful. All right, now we need bombs for this wall. I like to bonk there because then you can get the timing lined up. Oh. Come on. Thank you. Always make sure to grab your magic refill there. And two swings of the sword gives us a dead Moldorm. Poke shot to the chest over here. We're not grabbing any of the chest items because we don't need them. We are officially in go mode with silvers. Super pumped. Uh-oh. Well, now I've done it. There we go. That room is very difficult if you don't have, uh... If you don't have... Uh, dash lined up. Ooh, I got zero on that first attempt. Hmm. Zero on the second attempt. Uh, that is one thing that I definitely need to learn, is better geometry skills. Agonometry. There we go. All right, and on to the Ganon fight we go. We must call upon our duck who somehow manages to do this in the dark world, which has never happened in game, but whatever. And down the hole. Goose is actually the term for female geese. Male geese are called ganders. Take a gander. I get your butt kicked. Should be okay now. Unless I make a terrible error here, we should be okay. Might be our death. Nope, we're okay. We're okay! Good thing we had a fairy. Had you all going. It's not over yet. Ah. And there's a Ganon down. 
GG's, everybody. GG's. Sword chink. And across we go. Alright, guys. We did it. What is it gonna say? Ah, yeah, ha, ha, yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we are gonna speed up, uh, time here a little bit and see how we did. So, where is it? Bombs on the pedestal today. Alright, we're getting close to the information that we're looking to have. Are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? What is the time that we're going to get? How many checks did we do? How many didn't we do? How many accidental deaths did we have? How many bonks? This is the most exciting thing for me. Alright, here it comes. Thanks to all the wonderful people in the randomizer team. And here we go. Here is the wonderful information. We found our first sword at 13 minutes. That was the master sword. We always had our Pegasus boots. Flute at an hour and five minutes. Mirror at 52 minutes. No swordless kills. No fighter sword kills. No master sword kills. All of them were tempered sword. GT Big Key was number 14. 30 bonks. 7 save and quits. No deaths because we had a fairy. Right? Fairy revival. Uh, we had a menu time of 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Lag time of 8 minutes and 34 seconds. 146 out of 216 items, and a total time of 1 hour, 45 minutes, and 55 seconds. I hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you for our next Link to the Past randomizer. Or maybe another randomizer. We'll see. Bye, guys. If you liked what you saw in today's video, click that subscribe button in the middle. If you want to see similar content to today's video, click on the playlist on the left. Otherwise, our most recent video is hanging out on the right. Hope to see you guys next time.